what we got? What we got? What we got? So, we have our first question and answer session. Oh, yeah. So, a lot of people about. have been asking a lot of questions. We got a lot of new people mm -hmm. on that, on your page. And I'm not talking like a couple hundred. I'm talking like thousands and thousands, like 30,000, 20,000, mm -hmm. something like that. So, all of our uh, fa Facebook family that have been with us for years know exactly what's going on. And a lot of people... Um, that are new, have no clue. Yep. A lot of people ask me all the time, who's Lorraine? Sure. I'm Lorraine. That's Lorraine. This is my daughter. She's the one that makes stuff happen on our Facebook page. So I'm I'm Janet and Bruce's oldest daughter. The mean one. The mean one. Janice <laughs> is my younger sister, and she actually lives in another state. So Jan Jan. Jan Jan's not here that often as she wants to be, uh, maybe in the future once we get things really going. So, um... I guess we've got a lot of questions. I have pages of questions. Uh, let's talk about the, the farm. Okay. Um, mom was born and raised on this alligator farm. Right here on the farm. And mom and dad got married in 1980. And dad worked on the farm well, we got, for 30 years. Me and, me, and, me and Danny got together. She was 13, I was 15. We dated a few years. Me and her daddy hit it off good, and we just done everything. We hunted and fished and trapped and everything together. And me and Miss Janet wound up getting married a few years back, and then uh, it's just all history. Um, who taught you how to fish and hunt? My grandpa, Edward Manley. I, I did a lot of hunting and fishing with him. And uh, then Harvey, you know, my father-in-law, Janet's dad, he taught me a lot of stuff. Uh, about the time my grandpa died is when and uh, me and uh, Harvey started fishing and doing stuff together. So basically, you know, I've been hunting and fishing my whole life. Yeah. Cinnamon. All right, so we talked about talk family. We talked yep. about Janet and Bruce. Yep. I'm Lorraine. I do the behind the scenes. I do the social media, the appearance booking. I run the online store. And I. Um, a lot of people are asking what we're talking about when we say up front. This is up front. This farm. is up front. This is our pro dad's property. All this. And you got. You got to look for for 31 years. We had the farm up here. The, this is the farm. Me and Miss Janet live back through the woods there. Okay. So this is always up front. Let's go up front and do this. We gotta go up front and do the shop. So we could be up here and we'll say next time we're up front. Yeah. Let's do this. <laughs> So it's just called up front, but it's really referring to the a gift shop. The gift shop. Because In the, farm. the farm. It's really not a farm anymore. You know, we don't have No, any. it's not. Uh, we call it the farm, but it's not really actually a farm no more. Used to, we'd raise gators. We'd raise, you know, 10, 15,000 gators a year. Uh, we'd raise a million turtles a year. But all that's kind of in the past now. We, we're shooting for something a little different yeah. now. A little more educational we're looking stuff. For, for the future. And, uh, we have been working on our Mitchell Swamp Adventures, our, our guided educational tour here um, on the farm property. And it's a South Louisiana swamp heritage type museum we have inside. That's the first part of the tour. And then the, another, the second part is outside where you're going to stop at education stations, learn about alligators, turtles, nutrients, swamp ecosystem, different things, conservation, different things like that. So and we're, we're going to have some animals. Yeah, yeah, we have animals. We definitely have live animals. That's just a bonus to all the cool information that we're going to be giving out to y'all. As soon as the mandate's lifted, we are going to uh, open as yeah. soon as we feel it's safe. And also, we're going to set our grand opening. We're hoping it will be soon, but we'll see. Um, and we're going to get all that information to y'all in the website. But um, we got a lot of questions about people asking, do we have gator meat nope. for sale? We don't sell any gator meat, gator products. We sell a few online, but those are not from our gators. No, we gator do not is. harvest our alligators. I mean, people, are, uh, like I, somebody stopped here the other day and said, Bruce, I got a great idea. I said, what's that? He said, won't y'all sell alligator meat? I said, okay, that's fine. Where are we going to get it from? Yeah. You just can't pull it out um, of the air. We don't have it. You can't go in a while and get it. We had a, so, a fully working slaughterhouse. Yes. We dad processed hundreds of thousands of pounds of gator meat a year yep. and um that wasn't just made that wasn't maintained so we don't have that right now and 
the future it's a possibility but right now we don't have it and in order for us to sell alligator meat we have to have a grocer's license and a lot in the state of louisiana that a, a lot is involved in yeah. just to have a grocer's license just to sell processed pre-packaged meat so unfortunately we can't do that right now maybe in a year or so we might get around to that um, um we're just getting our feet yeah feet grounded right now but we don't have alligator meat we can't get alligator meat. I guess. As for gator hunting, everybody wants to know one: why aren't you on swamp people anymore? Well, it's just the way things roll. It's just the way things roll. And, and number two, well, I am on swamp. That's what I was just gonna say. He is on swamp people. Swamp so invasion uh, is swamp people. We imaginally have ten great years with swamp people. Mm -hmm. And uh, things evolve with the shows and stuff, and they got different people. And y'all seen that through the years. They have to do stuff like that to keep a story interesting, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, now they call me back. They want me back to do this new show. When, uh, We're hoping that everybody wants to know if they're going to have more seasons after this first season. We don't know. You have to wait and see. You just have to wait you and see. That's wait wait all I can say right now. That's how it works. They call us two weeks before filming and say, hey, y'all want to do this? And yep. Dad says, yep, I can be there. And that's that's how that works. So. But, you know, as far as gator prices, they went down the... Nothing. And if uh, gator hunters yeah. stop hunting, um, won't that become, won't that overpopulate the gators? What's going to happen if the gators, if everybody quit hunting gators right now, it's going to be just like it was back in the 60s when they quit hunting. Well, you know, uh, I don't know what year it was, 65, something like that. I, I don't remember. It had to be 65 or so. Yeah, I got I pictures with my, me and Grandpa I didn't when check I was five, days. six years old yeah. with gators, so I know we were doing it legal, I think. But anyway, What's going to happen when they close the sea? I mean, when people quit fishing gators, the gators are going to get big. You're going to have more and more gators. And then all of a sudden, you're going to see nothing but big gators because the big gators will eat the little gators. Mm -hmm. They will control their own habitat. If the gators got plenty to eat, the gators don't eat gators. If the food short, uh, the food source starts to get short, gators will eat gators. That's it. You go in and you take all the big gators. You start killing big gators. You're going to triple your gators. And that's what happened. Mm -hmm. We got more gators now. We know what mm -hmm. to do with it. Yeah. But it will reverse itself. So a lot of people are asking, gator season, did, was that really a staple job? Did that really feed oh, yes. families for an entire yes. year? Yeah, it, it did. We, we made a lot of money, you know, in one month. But we worked hard. Yeah. We worked real hard. And we'd make thirty to $35,000. And it, it, uh, that was to get you mainly through the winter months mm -hmm. and, and uh, in the Christmas and all that until until April and May, June, you know, when we started fishing and frogging and when, doing ever, other things. When is gator season? September. The month of September. Usually it's, I say, everybody says September. It's usually August 28th, 29th, 27th. The last Wednesday of August. And th it runs for 30 days. 30 days, yeah. You know. Um, but the problem is, there's just no money in it no more. Yeah. Yeah. And that's another thing, guiding gators. People want, want me to guide. Mm -hmm. I really don't want to guide. I might try to get a few tags in the next few years. There's a lot of liabilities having somebody in yeah, your boat. Yeah, it's a lot of liability to having somebody in your boat. I've been right. fortunate with swamp people. I've been all over the United States and Canada and uh, Mexico and all over the place. And I've got to hunt and fish all over the place. And I've had guides. And you know what a guide does not do? A guy does not hunt. A guy <laughs> does not fish. And that's why I don't want to be a guy. <laughs> but we do have, we don't do guided uh, gator hunts. We don't hire people for the boat. Everything you see on Swamp People and Serpent Invasion is Swamp People and History Channel. We have no say-so of who rides in what boat. Yeah. No say-so of what's even done. No. In the footage, none whatsoever. We do basically so what we do. We get a lot of emails of people saying, yeah. "Hey, why don't y'all do this? Why don't y'all do this?" We, it's not ours to say. And <laughs> I, I get, I guess, fifty emails and Facebook things a week. People say, "I'm coming. To, I want to come alligator hunting with you." Now you're getting snake hunters that want to come. Yeah, hunting. we can't do it. We have that's down in Florida. But even with the gator hunts, you can't just come out here and go gator hunting. It just don't work that it's way. It's a big... Uh, um, it's a lot to it. Even though alligators are now almost overpopulating, yep. they still have the endangered species They're, status yeah, to so. where you still have to yep. follow all of wildlife and fisheries rules to the T. And, and you we're talking do not about, come to Louisiana and just go hunt a gator. No, we're talking about thousands go to of dollars in fines, years in jail. Yep. Yeah, same thing with some of the turtles. Yeah. People don't I mean, know that. 
Yep. So you have to always I mean, know your laws. Our friends at Wildlife and Fisheries, you have to always, if you have any questions, call them. Definitely yep. don't call us because what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say, hey, contact your local Wildlife and Fisheries because yep. I don't give any of that and that's, information. That's the next thing about fishing. I get a lot of people say, hey, we're making up jug lines. Well, I, if you notice, most of the time, 99% of the time, when we talk about fishing with jug lines, I tell you to check your local law because mm -hmm. it's not legal everywhere. Yeah, and if you're interested in, and it is legal in your area, you're interested. A lot of people, I forgot, someone asked us about how to make jug lines. It's in my list. I do have y'all's names down for these questions, yeah. and we're just rolling through them. Oh, uh, Miss Leah wants to know, um, she said jug lining looks fun. How do I do it? Do you use Powerade bottles, different things like that? Well, we have videos out for that. Yeah. You get on Dad's YouTube page. Look on YouTube. Bruce the Alligator Man, and he's got videos to show you how. But once again, just check your local wildlife and fisheries just to make sure all that's legal. If you do want to come to Louisiana and hunt, like we said, you go through wildlife and fisheries. We get a lot of calls for people in our area with nuisance alligators that want Dad to go grab a nuisance gator or turtle. Yeah. All that's done through wildlife and fisheries. We cannot do We don't do any of that. So even we if you're people. a local friend around yeah. the corner, we still, we don't. We can't come get your we gator. We don't come get your gator. I mean, you just, I've had people drive up in the front here with, with the truck. Got, hey, got you something. I said, what you got? Got you a gator. I said, get it out of here now. <laughs> yeah. um, get it can't out just come down here and catch a gator. Yeah. And yeah. You can't eat. Most people say, well, you know, with our breed ponds and this and that, all our ponds are with it. They say, we're just going to wild and catch them and bring them back. You can't do that. It doesn't work that way. No. It does not no, work No, there's that laws way. to prevent that. Yes. Also, um, people want to know when you when you do hunt alligators and gator hunters, do they keep meat for themselves? Yeah, a lot of times people I mean, do. when you've got a permit, it's your gator. It's, it's your, your gator. Meat. But the problem with that, the last several, for, for years, nobody wanted the meat. Meat was a nuisance. The, the, the buyers did not want to skin the gator, okay? That was the problem. That's why we got slaughterhouses over there. For the hide, they want we the used, hides. They want, all they used to want was the hide. But now the money's in the meat. So when you sell your gator, you usually got to sell it all. Mm -hmm. If you skin that gator, they don't want just the skin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All in all, gator hunters do, some of them do keep their hides, yeah. their own gators, yeah. a whole gator, so they can yeah. have their meat for their fridge too in their freezer. So. Yeah. Yeah. And gator meat to me is no big deal because you gotta look. Me and Miss Janet was up here for 32 years, and it, you know we've been gone for the last 10, 11 years from here. But for 32 years, that slaughterhouse right behind y'all over there was operating seven days a week. We were killing gators or turtles seven days a week. Me and Miss Janet ate gator and turtle five and uh, rain two eight. Four to five nights a week, that's what we ate. Like chicken or beef? Yeah, it was just like, you know, you got chicken or, or beef. That's what we ate every night. All right. I got a few yeah. business-related questions for you, Dad. Okay, okay. so um, uh, we get, we do get a lot of people saying, hey, Bruce, can you come to this place? Can you come to this place? Miss Teresa wants to know, once the virus is over, can you come to my state for a meet and greet? And it's kind of hard to explain how that works, isn't yeah. it? Okay. Um we don't really just get to go places yeah. because we have to have funding for that. Yeah. So, um, well, that's what a lot of people ask you. Can, they, can you come? When are you coming to uh, Indiana, or when are you coming to Tennessee? Uh, would you come to my town and do a meeting? We have to be hired. Uh, uh, I can't go everywhere. I just can't. There's no way possible. There's yeah. A, if if we if. If y'all could, y'all travel in y'all's camper all over the oh, United yeah, we, States, we and that's all you camp. would do. A lot so of people have... contact us and would like to uh, to get a job or yeah. to come here and train to learn how to raise turtles. Or because we, no. we are the workers. We are the workers. That's it. That's we what, we're only you know, family. It's mom, dad, me, my husband, girls. and my kids. Janice when she's here, and then we have a couple friends like everybody knows my name. Uh, uh, um, and Sarah that comes Sarah. by. It's, it's mainly people who are right here and who actually. And there's no work. Are family. I mean, there's work. And guess what? But but we do everybody it. does it for free. Yeah. <laughs> so far, yeah. So yeah. far, it's free work. Now, if y'all so. want to pay us to come on. <laughs> no. no, can't do that. So um, oh, another yeah. question, Mr. Kevin wants to know, and this isn't in reference to any of the farm stuff he wants to know why and we get this question a lot why did i lose my top fan badge on facebook well your top fan badge actually just like the history channel the swamp people show it has absolutely nothing to do with us it's just something facebook does we have no control over it um it had in research it has 
they only allow so many people to be top fans, and if you click like on something more than another person, one like that, more, you, yeah, then you, that day you're the top fan. Yeah. The next week, if they comment on a live more than you do, then then they're the top fan that week. So, um, unfortunately, we have no control of that. I there's nothing we can do about it. Same thing as um, oh, I got one. What? I get a lot of people private message me and email me. Okay. You don't ever call my name. <laughs> yeah. You don't ever call my name. Shout out. I'm on. Mm -hmm. I don't ever get a shout out. Shout it's, outs we, are tough. Shout out. We don't see all the names. We don't see all the comments. The, the reason that he's always said, a lot of times, like 80% of the time, it's the same people that you do yeah. talk to. There's but that's a, a, there's that's a few one that pops up. There's a, yeah. It's a I few reasons. One is Facebook limits, yeah. which you can see. So in one live, Dad gets sometimes 2,000 comments. Yeah. Facebook only only shows him 300 of those comments. But guess what? Those 300, those people have said that same thing 10 times, and it finally comes across the screen. Yeah. You know, so like somebody says, hey, Bruce, shout out to me in Illinois. Yeah. Nothing. Hey, Bruce, shout out to me in Illinois. Nothing. 10 times later, it finally pops up in your feed. So that's that's what's happening. And then also, um, if he does say your name, he may not have had a chance to read your, your question. Um, yeah. Because he's cooking, he's skinning catfish, yeah. he is doing riding down the road on a tractor. So it's really tough for him to even answer questions and stuff. That's why we are doing the Q&A with y'all, so we yeah. can hopefully get some. And, and if we keep getting questions, we'll keep doing this. Yeah. We'll post these videos for y'all on the website. We'll reshare them on Facebook. and um, We'll get together one night and do a live. We can do a live one. Two, it's a little easier for me to do um, a little more controlled to do like like this. So, yeah. um, but what that's a, why we're uh, that's why we're doing this today to hopefully get some of these questions out the way. We don't want yeah. anybody to think that they yeah. are. I mean, I um, get people that looked over on purpose. Private message me all the time. Say, hey, you never call my name. I don't see it. Yeah. And I want to apologize right now to a lot yeah. of y'all about y'all's names. Yeah. Because I know I butcher them big time. Yeah. But. A lot hey, of people I are try. like, maybe next time. I might get... be calling your name. You just don't know it. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> maybe next time you get my name right. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, Sorry. I I if your name it. is Thibodeau or Boudreau, then we might get it yeah, right. If yeah. your name is uh, something that we've I'm never a, seen before. I wish I had a phone. Then we're not going to get uh, it. Uh, my phone to speak into. And I could say stuff and turn it around and show you what I said. And you say, oh, my God. <laughs> and, that's another that. thing. Is, yeah. oh, I get a lot. Y'all people email me about so much different things. And people email me, why can't Bruce say on? Okay, just put it this way. We're country. And he, do, he does not text anything no. into the phone. It's all by voice. Yeah. So if so it's, it's probably incorrect, or incorrect, it's because he says it's like yeah. country. And if it is correct, it's probably because I Just went in. Just got lucky. Yeah, or you I went, went in and edited it. Because yeah. <laughs> I do. Yeah. I make on, O-N, instead of O-W-N for him. It's several different words that it catches. So that's the, if the title is like that, then please forgive it because he does not type with his fingers. And we just try, we try to do so much with this page. And y'all know this page, my Facebook page is totally different than any other one that I've ever looked at. I mean, y'all get, they got full-blown conversations going on while we're doing lives. And I love it. You know, mm -hmm. that's, that's the way we are. It's one big family. Yeah. 